Alright, hello everyone, how are you doing? This is going to be a special little episode here. Croc Cave. What's the thing that's going on? Um, I'm just going to do this quickly. Okay. So, um, sort of one thing that is happening, and uh, well, as I'm, as I'm going to explain this, and tell you the story because I'm just going to tell you a story. This is not a strictly a developer episode. So a little thing came up inside my head, uh, and I want to talk about it for a minute. But first, I need to uh, adjust this configuration thing. Okay. All right. All set. Yeah. Alright, so I'm developing a little shell, uh, and so I'm going to work on that as I try to talk about my feelings on the current situation. So, yeah. Alright, so my name is Livronka, right? You either know of me or you don't. <laughs> and if you know of me, it's probably because of RPG, right? The Blender game engine, the Ukrania fork of the Blender game engine. Now, you might have noticed that I have not been uh, doing anything with RPG, at least not publicly. I still use it to, you know, um, how do you say, uh, prototype things and stuff, and <laughs> as, a, as a sort of a Python sandbox sometimes, right? It's a fun thing to do. Uh, sometimes I, uh, I don't know, I help someone with the box or something over at Blender Artist or whatever. But I'm not putting out RPG content and uh, I have a couple of reasons for this. Um, one, I'm busy with this, right? So uh, I've been building these uh, C libraries for about two years. <laughs> And, well, you know, there have been some rewrites and uh, redesigns and things like that. But, you know, I've, I've, I've been working on this kind of thing. And, um, yeah, that, that takes a while, right? I had to relearn a bunch of things. Uh, but also, uh, there's something that sort of came up. And... I'm just going to test this thing, yeah? So, make shabach. Okay. Uh, just make the thing. So, uh, the thing that came up, you know, it's not like... Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay. So, <laughs> so the thing that came up is... I realized that... Um, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not what I thought it would be. Right? Okay, so this thing runs. Okay, so you cannot see that program I just run. That's sad. Let me take the... Uh, no, not over here. Yeah, that's chmang. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to deactivate the transparency on the window so you can see it. Otherwise, I'm just uh, testing something you cannot see. That's not very fun. Okay. So that's that. Let's bring out the console and let's um, make this thing. Let's uh, what is it? Eight, uh, seven. That's Shabbat, actually. And does it run? Okay, so can is it appear in uh, Yeah, okay. Alright, so that thing works, and if I press the button, it should speed up. Yeah, okay. So I have control over the clock. Good. Okay, okay, that's good. That's nice. That's nice. Alright. What's the consumption like? Uh, Alright. Zero. And if I speed up. Okay, so it's it's pr it's pretty low consumption, actually. 
That's nice. Right. It's not doing it's not doing much, but it's good to see. Yeah, okay. So the, the idea here, if you don't get it, uh, the little um, clock up there when the program is idling runs slower just to check uh, if there's uh, any work to be done and when there's any event it starts speeding up and so it only takes up a uh, CPU power when it absolutely needs to which is what I want okay so that works so fine um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, right. The the absolute state of the Blender game engine community. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my feelings. First off, everyone's on Discord, which um, I don't like Discord. Like, forgive me for that, but uh, I, d I don't. Um, I'm not like a, like a socializing a lot kind of guy, obviously. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I mean I'm a software engineer. You want me to be, <laughs> you want me to be social? Fuck you, first and foremost. That's not going to happen. But um, secondly, uh, sort of like the, the, the like the whole atmosphere, the whole atmosphere. Uh, it's there's something that's something fucked up, you know. Because I mean. Most of the people that pop up uh, around game engines, and this is this is especially true for game engines, and you will notice you will notice it uh, a lot too in uh, in developer circles in general. You know, developers in general, when there's a framework that makes the development of anything um, sort of more streamlined you find that uh, that ease of development attracts lower levels of talent that's simply how that works it's easier to do so you don't need as much talent in order to get things done now does that invalidate talent itself no it does not <laughs> by by no means it does not and if you've seen uh, for instance, you know, shitty games done with incredible engines like Unreal, right? It, Unreal is an amazing engine. I cannot use it because I have spaghetti for BRAM, but Unreal Engine is a good engine. But the problem is, it, get, it gives you something like blueprints, for instance, which, you know, you can do visual, how it's called, like visual programming. When you have tools like that, you, it's like uh, you're saying, okay, so you don't know shit about software development, or you, you can develop software anyhow. And it turns out you actually can't. Because, you know, you, you, you have no idea about anything, and you're leaving up the hard work to someone else. And so someone else has to figure out the, the best way so that a, an absolute fucktad like you can develop something that works and it will not uh, break quite as easily and that means there's a lot of things that uh, <laughs> it, it means the system has to be developed foolproof right it's not a system that will leave things up to what we usually call programmers responsibility right if you read a, any manual on um, I don't know any manual on, on languages, uh, at least um, quote-unquote low-level languages, the only real low-level languages are assembly and machine code itself, but you know, you work with C or uh, C++ and they call that a low-level language, because when they read like uh, something like a hex literal, they think we're manipulating uh, bits with magnets, no, we're not doing that, but yeah. Uh, you read the manual for any uh, any AP, API, quote unquote. So yeah, any any API or, or language that's uh, sufficiently old and arcane, so to speak. And you will come upon that phrase 
programmer's responsibility. It is the programmer's responsibility to call free after malloc, right? That, that's programmer's responsibility. It is something that the human working the machine needs to know in order to operate the machine. Game engines and certain frameworks uh, that have nothing to do with game development, but especially game engines, do this thing where they sort of try to get rid of this responsibility, where it is a machine, but you do not need to know many things to operate it, which uh, is absolutely false. You know, spoiler alert, it's absolutely false. Um, such a thing does not exist. Such a thing does not exist. It's as simple as that. Um, and what I'm going, what I'm getting at with this is, uh, you look at uh, at the support boards for any such uh, engine or framework, and you realize that most of the of the issues, most of the questions and bugs uh, that needs to be fixed, uh, for the most part questions asked by people that do not know what they are doing right they have absolutely no fucking idea about anything they are not willing to google the error messages they're not willing to learn anything by themselves and so what do they do they go to the support board and they ask the question that's what they do and so uh, you have this uh, at least this is what I notice in the RPG community or what or the BG community, however you want to call it. Uh, there's this, there's like two camps, right? There's uh, on one hand, I don't know the the madmen like uh, Kotex and uh, Blueprint Random or whatever, who can code their asses off, and and then on the other camp you have. Uh, I don't know, people who want people coming to me asking uh, if we can make a ragdoll generator with uh, only logic bricks. No, you can't. <laughs> no, maybe you can't, but why would you? Right? Uh, it, at some point, you, get, you have to realize that uh, doing everything with nodes or doing everything with logic bricks or not learning how to fucking write a program is going to be detrimental to the development. At one point, you need to realize that, and so basically, that's the that's the direction. That's the direction any uh, any community of developers needs to go into. Um, not trying to 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 play into people's laziness. Not trying to attract this kind of lazy individual, but uh, trying to attract the the talented individuals because those are the people that will produce things that uh, the rest of the community can benefit from well i do not see that i do not see that at all on the RP, on the rpg uh, on bg in general i don't see that in blender as as a whole i don't see that in blender as a whole um, blender right now the absolute state of blender is just a pretty picture generator that's that um, I told her it's true blender right now and well you know like I don't know maybe people uh, designing medical appliances like they are making them themselves useful whatever you know doesn't matter for the most part it is crap okay it is useless crap for the most part and that's my point so yeah I'm sort of uh, how do you s what's the word I'm looking for uh, this illusion right like illusion but this this illusion right this illusion meant something like that like uh, like yeah uh, like if I, if I stay over here I'm not going to find people that know things I do not know um, for the most part um, I don't know, maybe the, the core devs of uh, RPG, they obviously know things I don't, right? Like, if you take a look at the Blender source code, you're going to see it's way messier than mine, right? M my code base, you, you, I don't know, 
look at this for instance uh, this is my my text renderer it's not that terrible if you let's see how much is it about 300 lines it's not too much you open up uh, any any one of the of the blender source files it's just a hell first and foremost is you go up here to the top and it's I don't know a hundred includes you cannot keep track of that many files for fuck's sake and then you, you know you go into the the rendering code it's hellish to look at so yeah no 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 it's uh, it's it's not it's not fun it's not <laughs> And yeah, I keep tabbing out because I, I get paranoid that I, that somehow I'm not recording or something. It's a thing I have, but... Like, yeah, so, I mean, like, core Blender and Blender Game Engine devs, obviously, they are talented people. And, you know, I have no doubt in my mind, they're probably more capable developers than I am. Um, or at least, that's what I would imagine. Um, I couldn't I couldn't tell you for sure but you know when in doubt simply assume you're the small you're the stupidest guy in the room right that's uh, that's usually not such a bad idea um, but you know it's that it's the core devs and then the users are a bunch of uh, fuck faces and like I don't know man uh, I, I I don't know. I don't I don't care to be a fuckface myself. That's my point. <laughs> I don't care to be a fuckface myself, and I don't care to be the one uh, solving every problem for the fuckface. I mean, there's there's not much in it. Uh, you know, I still lock the boards, but if I find a, an issue that doesn't seem interesting or I'm not bored out of my mind enough then I will not uh, try to solve it it's like you could solve this with a basic Google search right or duck duck go you know use duck duck right trust the duck but <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know maybe I'm too mean uh, that's that's another possibility uh, I don't know Okay, so let's do something with this thing. I'm just going to print every character up to the screen, just so there's something for the screen to see, right? Okay. Hmm. Now I remember, okay. Wait up. I need to fix one thing here real quick. So that's... No, not this one, it's on chmang and what's the name of this function, is it etherbag? Yup, okay, so we need to send here this uh, update and I need to go into the header, okay, right, so update and that fits there nicely, okay, right, so... So this is just to make sure that um, that the whole uh, clock thing works when we send in this. Okay. So this is just like it's saying uh, some some process initiated by the shell uh, is basi it basically needs to do the work. So if any process started by the shell. Uh, needs to do work so we cannot just do with the standard frame cap of two frames per second then you know kick into overdrive basically that's what so yeah okay so it's either a a, a, a window event like a like one of the event like either the event polling returns a value or an outer process requests it and in order to get that we need to send it over here so that should go from here for now that's good enough and 
I should equal this. I should say this not equal to zero, and just in case I change the flag around. Okay. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna change the color, right? Uh, okay, so no, this is the reset, and so <clears throat> we have 16 colors, so that should be enough. Okay. And okay, let's make that. So yeah. Uh. I don't I don't know what I what I was trying to get to um, basically I don't like people asking questions uh, saying how do I do this with logic bricks like fuck you learn to code you know like I did <laughs> right learn to code like I did you know go to Indian YouTube okay so this is not updating That's not good enough, okay. Right, so... Oh, it's because I'm onsetting the flag. <laughs> I'm onsetting the flag, right. Okay, so that's not... Hmm... But when do I onset the flag? That's the question. Well, not right after the call, but right after this call. That would maybe work. Yeah. Okay. So it so this flag gets set here, then it goes to the end of the loop, then back to the top, and yeah, then it would be. And then you do you, you do it. You de do it. And um, I'm gonna take away the reset, so it just paints the entire screen. And that's gonna be nice. Okay. So let's make that again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like I don't like visual programming, right? Like the the whole nodes and and, and logic bricks things. That I mean, it's stupid. If you just write the code, you you just you get you get what you asked for and more. Okay. So that works. It's drawing pretty quick, actually. Let's see the consumption on that. That's um, well, not not too bad. Okay. I mean, two percent—that's nothing. This is an. Uh, this is actually drawing the the entire buffer in one go. So this is thousands of characters in one single draw call. So it's actually pretty efficient. Um, but the color, it's wrong. It should... Oh, I messed that up. Right. Ah, whatever. I just <laughs> I'll just do it with another int. Okay. So... Oh no, I could... Yeah. I could just div, right? I could just modulo, yeah. So modulo that. Now wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I, I messed up, messed up. So that's actually, uh, that's actually 16, right? So bring up the console here and make again, okay. I mean. I mean, suppose, you know, the problem I had, um, like, I'm on Windows, right? I'm, I'm using Sigwin, but I'm on Windows. And, uh, like, console I.O. is really slow. Really, really slow. And the color is still wrong. What's up with that? No, 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 no. That's not good. So diving is not going to work. What? What? Uh, hmm. Let me think about that. 
I mean, if it's counting... If it's counting in binary... I'm just doing the AND to do the trick. Why doesn't that work? Well, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm just going to do it with a separate counter and call it a day. You know, it's just for demonstra demonstration purposes, so it's not important, really. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Like, yeah, but what I was getting at... Uh, the reason I'm developing a shell or a ter terminal emulator, if you will. It's because um, I'm on Windows and it's uh, console I/O on Windows, uh, like 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 prints, right? Uh, writing to to stand it out, uh, the printing to the console. I mean, uh, it's uh, very very slow on Windows. It's it's no good. It's definitely no no good. Um, so I, I want to develop r complex uh, console-only applications, and I'm limited by the fact that I'm on Windows. And yeah, I could I could switch to I could switch to another um, operating system, but um, I'm lazy. So rather than doing that, I just said, well, you know, I'll make a Windows application that can handle large amounts of uh, drawing to this fucking screen and the color is still wrong how come what's up push out Let's color ID up by 8. Maybe the problem is with the shader. But I don't think so. Let's just print it. Uh, and that would be like that. And uh, color ID. And let's check that works. Uh, so the. Yeah. So. I mean, you're not going to do a shell with logic bricks, that's what I'm getting at. You're not going to do uh, your own uh, graphics with logic bricks. And sometimes you will have a problem that can only be solved that way. No, the numbers are right. The numbers were right all along, the problem is in the shader. It's in the shader itself. Okay, so that's a pain in the ass, but let's just check it, right? So yeah, I mean it's a little, little bit of a dark, little bit of a, of a dark <laughs> turn. The whole, you know, uh, we made we made tools uh, to facilitate certain tasks, but it turns out when you want to get really specific, you have to get really specific. And uh, that, that's that's the dark thing, right? Uh, the these really advanced tools we have created, they do they don't really allow you. They don't really allow you to to do most of the things that you would like to do. Like if you want something actually complex, you need to learn a lot of stuff. That's just how it works. So there there is no uh, there's no easy no coding. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. There is no, there is no such thing. There is simply no such thing. You cannot just l learn a, f a certain framework and that fixes all your problems. You're, because first and foremost, you're, you're you're gonna have you're gonna inherit the problems with that framework or with that tool or whatever, right? So, for instance, with uh, if you use Blender, Blender is amazing, but if you're extending Blender and you don't want to recompile it, uh, yeah, you're going to have to be writing Python, and Python is a bunch of shit, basically. 
you know, it, <laughs> yeah, it's a good language. It's a good language, of course, and it's very powerful. But it's a bunch of shit. It is a bunch of shit. Significant white space, bunch of shit. Python objects, bunch of shit. You know, you can open up a Python object. You can dissect, so to speak, a Python object utilizing a boost, right? Boost the C++ library. But that's just as slow as doing things with Python, so why the fuck should you bother? Right? So, now. I feel the problem is coming from here. But am I right? Hmm. Could it be? Well, there is one way to know. If I take this, this gives me the color ID. If I paste that over here, it should give me the first 15 characters only and then repeat the 15th character. Right? So that should work, probably. Did I save that change? Yeah. Yeah. Debugging, debugging a, debugging a shader is kind of weird. Okay. So it's printing that. It is printing. But I don't remember, I don't know, it seems like it's all the same, the exact same, <laughs> it looks to me like it's all the exact same, um, character, so that's no good. That's, yeah. Oh, not over here. So let's try that again. Oop, seems my Okay, Minty TY it's it's absolutely broken, okay. Whatever. Okay. I've been recording for half an hour. <sighs> okay, whatever. Something interesting happened when I tabbed out the character and color changed, but I wonder why. I mean, the values are the same. Oh, there it goes. What the fuck? It's... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, so this, this, this got me intrigued now. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Now I get it, okay. So wait, let's put that back there. Let's try this. Okay, if it's repeating, then we should see that. Uh, we should see the first 15 characters, and the 15th should repeat. If we see that, the problem is. Either okay now so you know it's be the oh there it goes yeah it is repeating the fifteenth okay so that's that's interesting but it gives me an idea 
so... This is... It's not doing... Uh, it's not repeating the value when I print it. When I'm printing it over here... Huh. So... It's a problem with the buffer? Maybe? Hmm... Could be. It could be that the buffer doesn't update, so... Let's... Yeah. Maybe the update... Is messed up. Save that, yes. So, huh. Okay. So let me. This is quite unique. This is quite unique. I think I have an idea why. Um, it's probably to do with this. It should be unsigned, probably. I had an issue like this because uh, maybe when uh, maybe when it gets to to when it goes beyond 128, it, the representation sort of flips, so to speak. Uh, so maybe when you write that into the buffer, that fucks it up. It's weird, yeah, OpenGL is weird. It's beautiful, but it's weird. So... Oh no, maybe, maybe that. And if not, we'll see. Okay. If we stop seeing the repeating character, then we know it's fixed. Okay. There you go. Fixed. <laughs> okay. Nice. So, let's fix the shader now. Do this. Let's be ch and uh, the first byte, and yeah, that should do it. Okay. All right. So there you go. Uh, yeah, hmm. So the big question is Do I like uh, the community around the Blender game engine? And uh, it's uh, yes and no. I like some of the people, right? Some, some of the people in the community. Right? Like, specifically those who write code. Specifically those who write code. Or those that 
maybe they are not so uh, coach savvy, but they are willing to learn, right? Those people I'm okay with. Uh, but, you know, fuck that's uh, like a uh, random person. I call him Randy. I don't know if he, if he, if he has picked up on that one, but um, I don't like that guy one bit. I don't like that guy one bit. He's, he's a piece of shit. I'm just gonna say it out loud. He's a piece of shit. I hate that guy. And, you know, you might say, well... Lebron guy, that's, uh, huh, that, that's uh, a little bit too extreme. No, I hate that guy. I hate that fucking guy. Um, he's an asshole, first and foremost. He's an asshole. Uh, he will answer an issue... Uh, uh, someone's... Uh, he, he will, tr you know, fix, quote-unquote, someone's bug. Uh, or rather, suggest... A fix that's untested and completely unrelated with the problem at hand and he will do that just because uh, he wants to be like uh, like recognized or whatever he wants to be important or something and that's why he takes so much pride in the whole uh, every every time there's a hundred more members on the on the discord or whatever he bumps up some thread and says like, Oh, we got to, to uh, whatever how many fucking people on the Discord. And it's like, th that's the only pride the guy has. Because, like, what has he done? What the fuck has he done? Nothing. He can't code for shit. Not, no. I've, 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 never, I've never seen him write any, any BGE script that does more than fuck nothing. Right? So m maybe I'm wrong, right? Maybe uh, I've not looked at his best bits of code. But I mean... Uh, yeah, he's an asshole. He's an asshole. He will answer a, a, a question with unrelated things. He would post an unrelated fix and a completely unrelated thing to an unrelated issue and fix no one's problems. And then uh, one time, one time, he replied to a post, uh, to a problem that I fixed, right? Uh, someone, I don't know, was, uh, was looking for a way to, I don't know, do some stupid thing. Uh, and I said, you know, do it like this, uh, it's easier that way. And, and they say, oh, okay, all right. And that was that. And they didn't, you know, like, uh, click, uh, you know, on the, on the Blender artist forum this uh, this little button it says uh, mark uh, as uh, issue a solved or issue or thread whatever mark it as solved and so you know it will give you like like uh, it will tick up like a point right it's like a it's like a super like or something and you know the, the guy never ticked the, the solution thing and I didn't care for it <laughs> you know I, I didn't even notice and you know some two years after the fact Randy, random person, I'm talking about the fucktard random person, but I call him Randy. He comes up and says, you know, in every culture, uh, it's uh, it's good manners to mark the, the, the whatever solved. And I said, I didn't say it, like, you know, I didn't reply like that, but I said, what, what, what do, first off, what the fuck do you know about my culture? And second... But yeah, yeah, like, 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 why do you care? Why, why do you care about something so trivial? Like, uh, I mean, if you, if you ask me a question, and I, and like, you know, you're having a problem with something, and I'm willing to help, and so I go and and help you. You know, the, I, I do it just to do it, not, to, not to like, not like to get paid or whatever that's that's the point of community right that we help each other we help each other just because it's it's better if if we like helping each other that's that's what makes a community work right that we just help each other just for the sake of it right well that, that's the point it's not about uh, uh, how many subscribers you have or uh, or how many people like your your posts or your or your whatever? How many thumbs up you get? It's not about how many fucking thumbs up you get. It's about solving 
people's problems, right? It's about helping others. And Randy, he doesn't get that. He's a cocksucker. He, he will never get something so basic. Because something so basic is too complex for him. So yeah, I, I get I'm being too rough on the guy. But he's an asshole. He deserves me to be rough on him. So yeah. Well, I have nothing more to say, I think. Um, so yeah. Just a friendly reminder that all of the characters on the screen uh, are actually being drawn in one draw call, okay? So this is super efficient. This is super efficient writing to stand that out. <laughs> this is the most efficient writing to stand that out on Windows. You know, maybe not the most efficient, but certainly the most efficient I've been able to get my hands to. So yeah, I've been able to get my hands on, not to, sorry. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and all of that. Goodbye.